Hi guys, this is my second unboxing video this week. I hope you guys feel lucky. Um, there's a new book box out in Australia. It's called No Dragon Horse. I was lucky enough to get one of the first ones that they've done. Uh, this is their very first month. It's The theme was, and I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, Bibliophile. Um, it's late. I'm tired. Um, this is their first box. I saw them on Instagram on someone else's um, book post. I follow quite a few book bloggers and I thought this sounds interesting and I looked it up. Um, I then had to email them to find out if I could pay via PayPal because let's not even talk about me and credit cards. Uh, I got the box. It was delivered on Monday. There's a bit of a mess around with the post office. Uh, well, rather toll. Uh, and I could only pick it up today. Um, but let's get down to the unboxing. I'm very excited for this. They are a very new Australian book box. Aussie Pride. Okay, now when I open it, I'm greeted by tissue paper. I cannot stress how important I think tissue paper is when it comes to uh, boxes and of any kind, not just book ones. I feel like it adds a little bit of protection. And it does hide it too. Like as soon as you open it, you still got to go digging. All right, so the first thing that I found in my book box is a Dragon's Horde box card for Joyce. Joyce is the creator of the box. It's got her phone number, an email address, website, Facebook, and Instagram on the back. This is very handy, and I shall not lose it. There's also a The Dragon's Horde button. Ah, oh, badge. Button, I'm not American. Um, super cute, super handy. Not going to lose that. We'll pin it to something. Maybe mine or my tote bags, as I said. Have many. Okay, then this is the bit that surprised me. It is a handwritten letter from Joyce. You can tell that it's handwritten because it's addressed to me. Hi, Amy. Not photocopied, not typed out. It is handwritten. And I'm just wondering how many of these she wrote. In it, she explains that the theme is actually Bibliophiles Unite. Not Bibliophiles, like I said. But she tears on and tells us what's in it. She thanks us for the support. Um, I thank her for coming up with the box. Um, so let's get down into what else is in there. There is a magnetic bookmark. I have a magnetic bookmark and they are super handy because they're not hanging out, they're not lost, um, generally don't fall out. Again, magnetic. This one is a little stack of books and it is by KB's Designs, which you can find her on Etsy as KB Designs and Instagram as well. Super handy and super cute. Then we have a lovely wooden bookmark. I don't use my wooden bookmarks as wooden bookmarks. I like to stand them up and show off their little quotes. This one says, books are the only things you buy that make you richer. That is very true. And it is from Nook and Burrows. Nook and Burrows. I love their stuff. It's very Excellent. I will include some links to the places where you can find these items, either in the comments or on my Instagram, uh, which is also Oyster Alien. Then we have two cards. One that says which way to the bookstore and the other one which says read. These are from Amelia Hendricks on Society6. Uh, the Instagram is at create, explore, read. Again, I will put some links in. Then, we're getting right down to it. We're almost at the book. There is a letter in here from the author of the book. It explains a little bit about the book, that helps me enjoy it. Um, and she's thrilled that the book was included in the Dragon Horde box. I love this. I love the handwritten letter from Joyce. I love the handwritten letter from the author. Okay, and so our book is, oh it's quite flat too, yeah. it's called All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anderson. Okay, and the back says, lovely, sexy, scary, weird and wonderful. Patricia is a witch who can communicate with animals. Lawrence is a mad scientist and inventor of the two second time machine. As teenagers, they gravitate towards each other, sharing in the horrors of growing up weird, but their lives take different paths. When they meet again as adults, Lawrence is an engineering genius trying to save the world and live up to his reputation in near future San Francisco. Meanwhile, Patricia is a graduate of 
Alex May is the hidden academy for the magically gifted, working hard to prove herself to her fellow magicians and secretly repair the Earth's ever-growing ailments. As they attempt to save our future, Lawrence and Patricia share past, pulls and life together, and though they come from different worlds, when they collide, the witch and the scientist will discover that maybe they understand each other better than everyone else. Than anyone else, sorry. This is going in my to read pile towards the top so that I will definitely read it. This pile is getting out of control. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is your first The Dragon's Horde unboxing. Super excited. We'll sign up again. Definitely read it. Thank you for watching.